Okay, we're back. All right, now what I'm getting ready to do is make my turkey salad. Okay, now I have some of the leftover turkey left. Okay, and my hands are clean. So I'm going to put just enough to make about two sandwiches because it's only me and my husband. So we're gonna make just enough for both of us, okay? And the rest I'm going to use for the pastelillos, okay? Now, I have celery, chopped up celery. This is about, I wanna say a half a cup. Okay. You don't have to put celery in there if you don't want it. Um, if I had time, I would have boiled an egg and stuck an egg in here, you know, kind of like eggs in my sandwich, you know, type thing. Anyway, but you don't have to do that. So I put celery in there and it's, mine's is pretty simple, plain Jane. Um, you can add shredded carrots, uh, Whatever you put in your regular own turkey salad that you're used to. This is how I make mine. Okay. All right. Now, I don't really put too much seasoning on it because the turkey's already seasoned. I might put a little bit of pepper. So I'm going to put a half a cup of mayonnaise first and see if that's a good little mixture. And then I'm just going to stir it around like so. Okay. Yeah. Making sure I took out. I don't want to wind up using all the turkey, and then I don't have anything to show you guys how to make pastelillos. Well, turkey. Okay. All right. Some people use salad dressing. I use mayo. Okay. I should have stuck some shredded carrots in here, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> I know, I'm getting lazy. But I promise you it's gonna taste really, really good, okay? Now, you can use whatever bread you wanna use, okay? Now, this was a half a cup of mayonnaise, and I'm gonna say I used about two cups of um, my turkey, my leftover turkey I had. I don't like it really uh, mayo-y, that, that sounds right. I don't like it like that and I don't like it dry either I just like it in between if you know what I mean okay and then I just like a little bit of celery because I like a little bit of crunch in it okay but this is if you were just having plain turkey salad okay but I gotta be fancy with it and I wanted to do a turkey salad sandwich melt okay so I have Slice of bread. You can use whatever bread you want. Italian, a bagel, heck. If you only bread you had was a hamburger roll or a hot dog roll, just it, <laughs> whatever. Okay, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so I'll take some of this in here and put it right on the top of this bread. This slice of bread. Okay. Right now, I have two different cheeses. I have pepper jack shredded up, and then I have like Kobe Jack. Okay, as you can see, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you see? Can you see? That's shredded up too. And then I have pepper jack. Okay, so I'm going to do my other two sandwiches. Okay, well, my other breads. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here. And the soup is still cooking, okay? I just put, I put the noodles in there. Like I said, it only takes about eight minutes. And then you put it on low. You put the soup on low while you're making your sandwich. Or if you prefer your pastelillos, we'll get to that soon. Just let me get these out the way. Okay, then, now I have the tops of the bread, bottoms, tops, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put a little bit of the turkey on there too, 
okay just a little bit because i'm going to put this is going to be like a double almost like a double turkey sandwich salad sandwich melt okay just for the meat lovers really okay This is probably going to be my sandwich because I don't eat that much. So I really don't need that much meat. But, you know, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Then I'm going to stick cheese. Like so. Let me bring my pan over here so you can see. Okay. See? This is what it's looking like. I told you guys I don't have my helper today. And I haven't gotten a tripod yet. Which is coming. It's coming, people. Bear with me. Bear with me. We all got to start from somewhere. So I'm just going to put enough cheese on top. Okay. Of this sandwich. Okay, put it on there like so, okay, all right, and then put a little bit more in the other one, okay, and you can put whatever cheese you like on your melt, okay, sliced cheese works well. This is just what I had on hand, okay? Work with what you have. Don't go out spending money. <laughs> oh, and then I put a little bit of the other cheese on top, the Kobe Jack. in the mess but I put parchment down on my baking pan it tends to get messy so it's easy cleanup so now I have my oven set at 350 so I'm gonna put it in there until the cheese melts really good to my liking okay you can let it melt however you like it to melt okay and then we'll be back hey guys the soup is done can't you see? It's all done. Look at all that meat. Look at the noodles, potatoes, carrots, the seasonings. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. Along with the melt. And for me, I'm going to also show you how to make the turkey pastelillos that I'm going to make. Mmm, stay tuned. Okay, now we are going to do the rest of the years, okay? Last bit of the turkey that I have. The Goya. Si no es Goya, no soy bueno. <laughs> okay, so, and then I have my cheeses, okay? All right, stay tuned. Okay. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm up this meat. Okay, warm up this turkey. Just about a half a teaspoon of olive oil, so it doesn't stick to the pan. Right, move it all the way around like so. Okay. Oh, it would help if I turned the burner on. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Just want to heat it up just a little bit. Make it nice and hot so we can put it together. And we'll be back. Okay. Heating up. Heating up, heating up, really, really, really good. Keep it on here for a few minutes. Just enough for it to get warm. Okay. 
tuna i mean the turkey salad melt okay wait until it's all done 